is just so run and gun. So four minutes of the movie is done, and I don't even know what the rest is. The editing here is like what really makes this pop. One of the things that makes him special is contrast. It's so stylized and, and cool to watch. Jackie, you picked out today's video. This is Casey Neistat. You want to tell us what we're about to watch here? Um, this is basically a producer's nightmare, which is why I love it so much. <laughs> That's Jackie Wegworth, the production manager for Daniel Thrasher. Bazinga. It just makes me anxious, you know, whenever, <laughs> whenever we have an idea on our team, you know, I like to sit down, I like to plan, I like to delegate. Casey is a one man show. He has an idea and he just runs with it. And it works because it's that authentic sort of video that just really clicks with the YouTube audience. So I'm so excited to show you guys. Let's dive in. Not to stop it so soon. The other thing I want to point out is that this is a sponsored video. Yeah. The fact that this is so popular, so engaging, and it's an ad is such a feat in itself. I also love it's so it's so um, slow. Mm -hmm. The whole first bit, no sound, no music. It's like an unboxing video with some jump cuts. No talking, no dialogue. He just takes out a wristband. And I, I would say that's classic filmmaking where you show, don't tell. That's Mark Celestino. He worked at BuzzFeed before he moved over to Watcher as an in-house director. Mm -hmm. And it'll let us know that you guys want to communicate. I've worked plenty with brands where they're very, some brands are very finicky with like how you word certain messaging, Yeah. right? It has to be very specific. So to have a, a content creator that they just fully trust to do something like this is amazing. The message on the box is like, life is a sport. That's like Casey Neistat's whole thing. This is Chance Nichols. He's a writer for some of the biggest YouTubers on the platform, and he also makes some of his own videos. On your phone too much, you're too distracted at work. Let's keep going. Oh, by the way, we have to just call this out. He's setting up at second 10 the visual meme of the video. This mm. shot of him in the lower third running from left to right the first time we see that shot is 10 seconds in, and there he goes. And we don't know it yet, but that's about to become this that's the setup for reincorporated mm. moment throughout the entire video where we see him running in the bottom third, left to right. Nike asked me to make a movie. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not, that's, not a video or whatever. It's a movie. movie. That's yeah. how he sees his creation, which is cool. Scrolling credits. It's a movie. Yeah what makes Casey extraordinary. I think he's really good at understanding when to use music. Mm -hmm. And so right as you're reading this, instead of making their movie, I spent the entire budget traveling around the world. Literally when I get to the phrase traveling around the world, boom, dum, 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 we mm -hmm. like, and it's right when I'm reading that in my mind, the millisecond that that music comes in is so intentional. It comes in at exactly the right moment to juice our anticipation and excitement. We'll definitely make this flight, but we're cutting it close. So far, the trip is off to a fairly irresponsible start. <laughs> so again, producer's nightmare, it's running so late for the flight. Nope. <laughs> you know, he doesn't storyboard, he doesn't script it. He what? When you're um, telling a story to camera, do you write out a paragraph of no, what never, you're going to say? Ever. As he's traveling, he knows, okay, maybe thematically I want to get this shot. I could do all these match cuts. Um, right. But yeah, it's really all very natural and candid. Yeah. yeah, which is like, I think, a quintessential YouTube thing because I always say that a creator's YouTube channel is an extension of themselves. My first job was writing for a late night talk show. It was in the Midwest. It was called The Mystery Hour. And... Uh, we would do shoots like this all the time. All right, run into the Best Buy and do that. Like, like, just like, just, just quick. Just make it quick. Like, like, don't like, like, just look down. Like, I have the camera down here. It's actually ladies' night, so if you don't have any ladies, I can't let you in here. Really? Yeah. And that's just such an exciting way to make stuff. And I wish I still did more stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's it, there's something about 
like, oh, we're not really supposed to be here. <laughs> that's fun. And I think that's part of what makes a lot of his videos really interesting is there's this feeling I get constantly, which is watching his videos, which is, I shouldn't be seeing this. He was shooting airport stuff really before you saw a lot of airport footage at, on YouTube channels. How you doing? It's like he's he's got a camera in a place that he shouldn't have a camera and he should not be broadcasting this to me, but I get to see it. He's, I think, the one who made the like travel airport vibe with the techno music like really exciting like yeah, now yeah. sometimes when i'm going through security i just like i listen to like deep house and it makes me feel like i'm in a casey neistat <laughs> video you know it's because like he he built that he made it feel that way yeah. you know with these types mm -hmm. of shots and that run and gun style watching here classic indiana jones shot we got to paris 17 degrees outside the There's the running shot. Yeah, welcome to Cairo. He didn't set up Cairo with like a Egypt lower no. third. He's, yeah. uh, he caught the taxi driver saying, well, and that's all you, you know exactly where you are now. All in all, very successful. We visited I, I was, uh, I'm glad you pointed that out because if you notice how people respond to them when they're filming just out in the wild no one seems to be uncomfortable and i do believe that is part of how how you approach people or how how you film we had casey on the show uh, a little while ago hmm. and one of the hey. things he mentioned is when when he films he often holds the camera here if he's talking to somebody a lot of people hold the camera here and look at the camera and he holds it here and talks to the person and sometimes he even intentionally tilts the camera so that the viewer knows that he's paying attention to the person he's talking to, not paying attention to the camera. Because he wants people to have that sense that like, they're a fly on the wall. I can still hold the camera side of my head perfectly steady, but I need the audience to know. Yeah. It's, it's a way of letting the audience know that I'm not paying attention to the camera. Wow. His focus is with the other human in the room, not the audience. He's like very intentional about that. Yeah. And so different from how so many things are nowadays on like TikTok. Everyone's holding their phone in front of their face and it uh, just disconnects you from the person you're talking to. So he's able to like maintain those connections uh, by changing up how he's shooting these interactions. Where we rode horses, a Max almost fell off of his. <laughs> Okay, that's the first moment where you start to like feel the time passing, mm -hmm. right? It's like those quick cuts to all the airplane food and you're like, oh, he's taking like 30 flights now, yeah. <laughs> you know? And I think he does a really good job of like pacing throughout this video, right? That first, you know, minute and a half, he visits Paris and Cairo. And then the pacing starts to pick up and we're like, oh, he's going all over the place now. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it keeps you interested because it doesn't just feel like there's kind of one thing, next thing, next thing. It's not predictable. It's like yeah. acceleration, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Especially since he opened with, it took 10 days to run out of the budget. And so it starts slow. You're like, okay, yeah, he went to Paris. You could do that in 10 days. Oh, Cairo. Okay. Well, that's just down a little bit. And then he just keeps traveling and it's um, amping up the pace. And you're like, oh my God, how many places is he going to go to in 10 days? And on top of that, uh, I do love the copy that he chooses to like that inspires people that also brings it back somehow to the brand messaging. Right. And I thought that was like, very organic. Now, there's no way to know this. It's just speculation. But do you think that he had in his mind that he was going to um, interject all these quotes throughout it? Or do you think that's something that came in the post process where he's like, I feel like it needs something and sort of to take it to the next level, he found all these quotes and threw I them in. I think the latter. Mm -hmm. Because uh, for me, if I was going to put copy on purpose, I would create shots, empty space for those those uh, copy, mm, yeah, right? Yeah. But if you notice where he puts the copy, it's just on random shots. True. Just yeah. a guess. Okay, that, that's the first shot where, he, where we see the running kind of go all the way across the screen, right? Match cuts, mm -hmm. yeah. So there's this match cut of him turning his head. Yes. There. See that? Yes. Oh, I just, I'm let's like, watch that. That's beautiful. See, good that point. has to be, I don't know, I don't think that was planned. That's just good editing. 
Mm -hmm. I'm guessing he's only turning to the right because he's probably right-handed that he just Mm -hmm. that's just natural yeah it feels natural it doesn't feel like you know Max is there like oh uh turn around it seems like he (laughs) probably hollers up at him and it's just a natural oh what we gotta get the turnaround shot (laughs) quick (laughs) yeah yeah no yeah to me the editing here is like what really makes this pop yes Yes, it's so much eye candy. If if Ryan Trahan and 30 Rock are packing it with jokes, Nystat is editing his videos or is, is packing his videos with editing prowess. Yes. Right? He's yeah. just like, and this cool edit and that amazing edit and this stop mo thing. And it, it ke- it's fun to watch. It's eye candy. Yeah. yeah. And there's so little... Uh, like dialogue or explanation, like it's it's very it's the minimal amount to be yeah. able to give just enough context to keep the story pumping forward, yeah. which is which is a cool way to and it's his it's very his style of like creating movies as he calls them. Right. Once right. again, show don't tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's the motto. We're in Johannesburg, South Africa, right now. Just got to Zambia. <laughs> There's the running shot again. Mm-hmm. More running. Just quotes. Just filling it with just quotes. And now I think the running theme really comes into play. This is the moment where, in my mind, it ties it back to, oh, yeah, this is for Nike. Oh, yeah, mm. this is, like, about active and, like, making it count. It's, like, before you're, like, he's on an adventure, and now it's, like, bringing back in the brand but subtly it's like you're not being annoyed and like oh yeah this is an ad and turning it off you're still like where's he going next and yeah. still engaged with it boy it's th- this may be a bit abstract but i feel like casey his planning is probably not is very different from michelle gondry instead of thinking second by second it's almost like casey's thinking of like themes like the the, the feeling of like um, fucking up like the slipping and the being late for the airport like being behind schedule like and then the editing is what organizes all those themes into something that like makes sense and is cohesive but it's just like a different way of planning it's mm-hmm. a planning around concepts and ideas versus second by second breakdown storyboards yeah the concept of Nike running yes. movement is it he he has both literal running and then just being in an airport, right? Which feels even if you're standing still at like security, y- the whole vibe of an airport feels like go 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 yes. go get there get there get there. So like yes. so much airport footage interspliced with so much running footage and driving footage. It's all the same idea, but just presented in different ways. Right. Yeah. Full running shot, lower third, jumping off an elephant, <laughs> and just keep going, <laughs> skating, plane. Also, like, all the footage is shaky, right? It's all handheld, shaky, wind, you know, foam filters. Mm-hmm. All of the street signs are written in squiggly lines. <laughs> Isn't that what any letter is? I played for it two minutes ago. We're in Bangkok. We have a terrible taxi driver. Thank you. Ace one eight so funny because it's like he's in stressful situations he's like oh our flight boarded two minutes ago it's like i would be panicking i'd be like we're not gonna get there we're gonna be stuck in south africa like what are we doing next um but it's like i don't know his demeanor is like so calm and the video is like like you feel like it's gonna be okay and you're still on the journey and Mm -hmm. it's yeah the feeling is incredible yeah it's fascinating what confidence and money can do yeah. like <laughs> casey is an extremely confident man and then also he has a budget so like the idea yeah. of missing a flight is like eh, eh, yeah. two minutes ago whatever. it's like that's the cool guy that you wish you could be yeah. but you're like clutching your carry-on bag like oh goodness my mom's gonna be so mad if i'm late like it's he's like yeah I'm going all over the world on Nike's dime. <laughs> like it's it's such <laughs> a it's such his vibe, and it's also, but it's just a simple. It's a travel vlog. What we're watching is a travel vlog, mm-hmm. essentially. But he's made it into something that's like I don't know. It's it's so stylized and and cool to watch. We forgot to eat today, and I've got the shakes real bad. <laughs> Love that. This is the gnarliest airplane food I've ever seen. Look at this wiener. That looks fine to me. That's so funny too because it's like it's such a difference from all the other like travel vloggers, influencers you see where they put together this like perfect picture of like, look what I'm eating. I'm here, like life is perfect. And he's like, Oh, like this hot dog is like jank. Um 
it's just so funny and so real. Yeah, it's also interesting from a, like a story standpoint, the fact that we really only see him stopping or the, the movement isn't is being shown as it when he's eating. <laughs> Right, <laughs> he stops and to eat the plane. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the plane stopping to because oh, all right, I'm shaking. I got I gotta slow down here for a second. Eat it, good. Now on to the next Move thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, refueled, ready to go. Uh, it's yep. so hardcore. What's inspiring about this is not that everything is working. It's that some stuff works and some stuff doesn't. Just like the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's inspiring about it. And he shows the full range of human emotion and existence in this video, right? The shitty airplane food to running next to the pyramids of Cairo. Yeah. Like it's like you get the highs and the lows and it just I don't know, for me at least it just it makes it it makes it all feel okay. It makes it feel all worth it, you know? Mm-hmm. It, which is an inspiring feeling. Mm-hmm. Just trying to make it count. Exactly. <laughs> Life's a sport. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we're, we're out of time here, so let's finish. I think this is maybe a great place to stop because this shot is so epic. Wow. Jeez. Music cuts. So much anticipation. Good editing. Sound. So good. You think that that's wind and water? Oh. And he really it it interrupts hangs, yeah. it. Yeah. He really holds that drop. So I was looking at what is—is is that a boat? It's like a sunken house. I love that sound. The Again. way that he throws on the brakes there, where it's like. In the time that it took for him to run up to the edge, jump off, and then eventually hit the water, the rest of the video basically has happened. Like, like we've seen 40 shots and in the same time that it took him to do that one slow, deliberate, but still moving forward, moving down, falling. Uh, but the momentum somehow still felt just as present, which is a really cool, like you said, good editing, good uh, breaking it up in the middle also with the, like that was just a really masterfully done thing. What's really cool visually too is the whole video where you see seeing him run horizontally and suddenly he's falling vertically. Mm. So that mm. change in perspective yeah. is really great. I feel like that's one of the things that makes him special is contrast. Mm-hmm. Like the pacing dramatically shifts in those 45 seconds, right? It just like the time slows down to nothing. Um, and his introduction of like variance in so many elements, pacing the range of life, contrast between the highs and the lows, missing a flight, sh- being nervous because, you know, being being hungry and shaking versus like having these amazing experiences. He, th- th- this idea of contrast, he's so good at just like creating variance through the film to keep you, to keep it always fresh and new and exciting. Yeah. Guys, I feel like we could, we're, we're not even finished with this video. We're only three <laughs> minutes so in. There's so much more to say. <laughs> There's so much more to say about it, and, and we're out of time, so we got to cut. But this was so mm. awesome. I mean, thank you so much for coming in and, and sharing your wisdom and thoughts with us today. So, yeah. so cool to hear how you think about this stuff, and really appreciate you guys taking the time. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you. Okay, cool. And we will see you next time on Digital Spaghetti. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Adios. Howdy. Goodbye. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>